Hey there, it's Anonymous T. Welcome to my backup channel, Anonymous T Podcast. Uh, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe both to this channel as well as my main channel, Anonymous T. This is my backup in case ever something happens to my main channel, uh, just because some people are being goofy. Uh, but nonetheless, in this video, we are going to get right to the mesh, and that mesh is Juicy Smollett. Er, I mean, uh, Jussie Smollett. Uh, shout out to Dave Chappelle uh, because he finally has gotten a break in this appeal of the case in which he lied uh, is now going to um, be heard by the Illinois Supreme Court. What am I talking about? Let's get into it from TMZ. Jesse Smollett will have his day in court over his appeal of his criminal conviction. In fact, he will be able to make his case in front of the highest court in the land of Illinois, that is. Uh, the actor just scored a huge W Wednesday because the Supreme Court of Illinois ticked his case off as one they are open to hearing. In other words, his appeal to the state Supreme Court is approved, and the justices for this court will weigh in on this saga once and for all. Remember, Jesse has been appealing this conviction pretty much ever since it came down way back in 2021 when a jury found him guilty of lying to the cops about a hate crime he claimed he had been victim to. Jesse was defiant after the verdict came in. And while he was sentenced to 150 days in jail, he only served six days behind bars before he was sprung as his appeal worked its way through the court system. There were some ups and downs before this big decision. As we reported, he was handed a loss in Illinois appeal court when he first asked them to look over the case with a three-judge panel upholding the conviction and finding that the jury was justified in their decision. Also, Jesse appealed that decision, throwing a Hail Mary in hopes that the Illinois Supreme Court will hear him out, and now they have signaled they're willing to do that. You'll recall, Jesse's whole argument here on why his conviction should be tossed is based on his claim that he had to deal with the prosecutors who were first handling his case, which he explicitly stated he wouldn't be prosecuted if he signed up for their terms. Uh, at the time, Jesse was asked to do, uh, was forfeit a bond he had paid and do community service, and says he upheld his hand of that bargain. Afterward, though, a special prosecutor came on board and put him under the gun again, which Jesse calls BS. The special prosecutor, however, says the deal Jesse thought he struck with the previous team did not, in fact, protect him from further charges, and he argued double jeopardy doesn't apply in this case. It is all very technical, but the special prosecutor was asking the state Supreme Court to reject his bid. Now, though, it is clear they found some merit in Justin's argument, um, not Justin, Jesse's argument, enough to hear the whole thing out at least. Jesse has at least been able to avoid going back to jail through this whole appeal process, and he has been doing a lot in the meantime, including working on himself. You know what? Here's the thing, you guys. Here, here's the thing, right? Let's say I... Uh, you know, Jesse finally wins this, right? Or, or they finally, you know, say, hey, you know, nothing happened here. You don't have to do, you know, the rest of this 150 day sentence. I, uh, what, what, it, what are we achieving? <laughs> like, like, what is there to achieve at this point? Uh, because there was receipts that one way or the other, uh, you orchestrated your own attack, uh, with some dudes, uh, that were getting subway and, and attacking you in the middle of the night in, in the south side of Chicago. Like it was unrealistic from the start. <laughs> It was completely unrealistic, and you did this to try to jumpstart your career because the roles were drying up after Empire, and you didn't get some role on Broadway that you auditioned for, so you concocted this grand plan um, to make yourself a victim of a hate crime so that you could get sympathy from America and the Vice President Kamala Harris, and potentially that would propel you to get more opportunities because if enough of the public believe this nonsense, I you would, uh, you know, be able to make bank. But instead, the opposite has happened and you've been blackballed. Because who wants to work with a liar? Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we will continue to monitor this. We will continue to see what comes of this case. We will continue to see whether or not, uh, you know, Jesse Smollett has enough to win this thing. Uh, however, it is not the U.S. Uh, Supreme Court. This is going to just the Illinois one. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll see what takes place. I think that this case has gone on 
way too long. The receipts already showed what really went down. So, so what more is there to talk about, right? What more is there to accomplish other than this just feels like uh, Jesse just doesn't want to finish his jail sentence. That's what it really feels like. He just wants to get out of this jail sentence um, and all these things, but it'll be interesting to see if he can argue against what deal he made originally with the prosecutors and how they're going to present that in court. So there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.